Boys, the day has arrived. Gran Turismo Sport has come out literally today. So as we know, there was a little beta thing a few days ago, and I managed to play it on the channel, got a few videos out of it, but the actual full-on game is out, like, now. I didn't get it early, like some YouTubers, Polyphony, Sony, if you want to hit me up. Well, my, my Twitter is down there. But anyway, um, yeah, I've been playing it pretty much like for the past few hours. As you can see, I've been making a lot of effort in the driving school. I'm like halfway through already. I've been playing for a solid few hours now. Um, but I kind of want to explore everything else about this game. Obviously, we played the beta and the beta had quite a lot of actual like game gameplay stuff in it and a lot of content in it. But I kind of want to explore the rest of this for myself. We can't go into sport mode because I think we need to finish the driving school or the racing etiquette thing. So we might actually do the racing etiquette and then move on to sport mode in the next episode where we hopefully won't rage like I did in the last video. Go! 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 No! How? No! You're mad! Oh my god, I'm actually fucking annoyed! What does this mean? Racing etiquette. Right, we just gotta watch two videos. I don't really want to do that right now, to be honest. Right, let's go ahead and go into the campaign, and let's go ahead and do some of this circuit experience. Now, if you don't know what these cir circuit experience are, essentially it will give you certain sections of a track, and you've got to go ahead and essentially basically get gold around that section. So, think of it as kind of like time attack, but a bit better. As you can see, we have a bunch of tracks here. I don't think these are all the tracks in the game. It doesn't feel like these are all the tracks in the game, because I know there's more. Uh, anyway, we're going to go for... Let's go for Suzuka, because I know Suzuka quite well. And as you can see, we've got the five different sections of Suzuka, a lap attack at the end to see if we can actually win the whole thing. So we're going to go ahead and see if we can do this in, t in today's episode. We're going to go ahead, dominate Zuka. The amount of hours I've actually sunk into this mode, it's pretty sad, to be honest. In the beta, honestly, this was one of my favourite things to do. I don't know why people are saying that this doesn't have a really strong single player, because obviously, you know, there has been a bit of confusion, but this game really does have a strong single player component, which leaves me really confused as why people keep saying that there is no single player in this game. The single player is huge. Right, so here we go. We're going to go ahead and turn traction control down to one. The reason why I'm playing automatic is because I haven't had a chance to map my button yet, but I will eventually get around to that. So as you can see, we're going to do section one of Suzuki here. Oh, I can feel it. Fuck. Anyway, yeah, as, as we can see, we're doing section one of Suzuki here, and I've got to get 38.7 to get past. Really careful on the throttle, don't want to spin out again. You've really got to think about what you're, what you're doing. This is not easy. Okay, right, feather the throttle. That was really poor. Good speed! Now, I do plan on getting gold on all of these. It is a painful process to get gold on everything at Grand Turismo. I mean, I'm sure if you played previous Grand Turismo, you'll know, especially with the, some of the driving tests um, or the driving licenses, how they were before. It's just painful. Right, we're going to go across the line, and that was a bronze. Obviously, I'm not happy with that. That was just an example. I was just showing you guys what this is, is like. Right, let's go ahead and have a go at that again because I want, I want the gold. This is honestly so addicting. Like, it may not look like it now just because it is just you driving around a track, but it is honestly so addicting. Like, having that ghost as well really makes a big difference. Right, so as long as we stay a few car lengths ahead, we should be able to get gold this time around. Oh, fuck off. There are definitely a few things I've noticed after playing the actual game, which are very much different to the beta. I did make a pretty bold statement that this is like some of the best progression I've seen in a sim racer. I think I was a, I was a bit wrong in saying that. I had a conversation with CJ afterwards. It was like, um, he got a Bugatti in the first like few, few rounds. I got really lucky in the beta and it wasn't really that far forward. But I've noticed, especially since I've been playing the full game, I've got a lot more cars than I probably should have. Don't get me wrong, it is very good progression. And I don't think it's awfully fast. I just think the prize spins are a bit too regular, to be honest. I am concentrating so hard right now. But my ghost is catching, oh, for fuck's sake. Help me. This is awful. This is actually painful. I'm going to kill myself. What's wrong with me? What is actually wrong with me? Right, I've turned up the traction control by one. So hopefully that makes a big difference and I can actually control the car without dying. Right, there we go, around there, nice and smooth. Please tell me that's gold. Please tell me that's gold. It's not gold. Oh my God, I'm going to kill someone. <laughs> I just wanna win. Daddy just wants to win! Suzuka was always one of those tracks I've really, really enjoyed, just generally, like, driving around on. Like, it's, it's one of those that I remember really, really vividly, vividly for some reason. Obviously, I'm not showing that by the fact I still haven't got gold. Come on, that that's... I've aced that there. Let's go! Right, so we're gonna go ahead and press X, plus all this. This is the, the progression screen. I'm sure you've seen this on a lot of other YouTube videos. I know a lot of people are covering Gran Turismo, but I, again, this is honestly one of the games that, which I was most excited for this year. We're gonna go ahead, move on to section two. Hopefully, this goes a bit smoother. Smooth. 
like a baby's bottom. Right, having traction control on two instead of one has made the worldy world of difference. Right, we're gonna break here ever so slightly, clip that corner. Fam, look at me! Right, I did kind of go off a bit at the end. But that was good. I just realized that like from my first go then, I didn't even commentate through any of it because I was concentrating. It is honestly so hard to commentate on Sims in games where you really actually have to concentrate. This isn't easy. Like I'm sure if you, you are actually like a pro race guard. But... <laughs> For a retard like me who totaled a Suzuki Swift, this isn't the easiest thing. That's what, like I said, I mentioned this in a few of my beta videos. There's something about Gran Turismo and my competitive side which really comes out. And it's only in Gran Turismo, like, does it come out for some reason. I think, is that going to be a goal? No, we missed. We missed it. <sighs> what do you want from me? What do you want from me? Why am I so bad at this? Why am I so bad at this? I'm not this bad. Right, we're going to have one more try. Otherwise, I'm going to explore the menus because... This is getting into my head right now. <gasps> what the fuck? Right, let's quit out. Let's go ahead and uh, have a look. <laughs> Menu. <laughs> right, so I'm going to show you guys what I mean um, by the progression being a bit weird. Um, initially, when I was playing it through in the beta, I didn't really get any high-end cars initially. It was kind of only little hatchbacks and little things like that. I got an i3, I think, in the, in the beta, which is really odd. Uh, but if we go over to my actual garage, we can see I have a plethora of cars, everything ranging from an R R R R RCZ to a WRX. But for some reason, I've also been given cars like Advantage and, like, an M6 GT3, which I don't really think makes a lot of sense. Like these cars at the bottom, and like obviously the two I mentioned prior, I get it. I understand why I've got those, but like these four cars here, the actual race cars, seems quite high end for me to have so early on in the game. Keep in mind, I did not buy the deluxe edition. I bought the normal edition just because it seemed like the deluxe edition was only gonna give me more money in cars, which I didn't really need. That's what I found really odd. That is what I found really odd. I, this is definitely a game which I'm gonna be playing all night, um, but that's just one thing which I found really odd is the fact that like they've given me so many cars so early on. Let's go and buy a car. I haven't actually even bought a car since I've been playing this. So I kind of want to get into a drift car, to be honest. Um, we can go ahead and see what the Japs have got, but I don't think I really want to make a GT86 drift car. I'm interested by this little thing. So supposedly this isn't actually a K car, like it's just a normal car, but it's only made for the Japanese market, which is really weird. This is the issue we have now with Gran Turismo Sport, like, okay, so essentially, I, I kind of want to make a drift car right now, but because of the lack of old cars in this game, but I can't, and I get where they're coming from, I get they want it to be sports-based, and I completely understand, like, exactly where they're coming from, but the fact there's, like, not, there's literally none, it makes no sense to me, like, if we go into Audi here, they've got an 87 Pikes, Pikes Peak Quattro, but they haven't got, like, just the normal quattro. I think this is where my kind of main issue is really going to lie with the games with the car list. It's just such a weird, weird car list. Like, what the hell is that quattro going to go up against? Like, is it going to go up against a GT86 rally car? Because that doesn't make any sense. I mean, if you're coming from a serious point of view, at least, that makes no sense to me. Also, the fact that, that, that like, non-car companies just have advertising. Like, why does Lewis Hamilton have advertising in the brand central car area? It literally, there's nothing here to see. Again, little problems, like little nitpicky problems, but things which just don't really make any sense in a game which is all about polish. The thing is with, about buying cars in this game is I'm not really sure if there's actually any point. Besides the fact we can use them in arcade, I'm actually not even sure if there's there's a thing behind that. Obviously, I've only played the beta, so I don't, I don't know everything in specifics. But in, unless you're taking it into an arcade race or a multiplayer race, I don't actually think there's any point in doing so. Right, let's go ahead and round this off. I guess we can do one more driving school mission uh, to round off this video. I kind of went on a bit of a rant then. That was a complete rant, like I, I do apologise. Let's go ahead and do this one then. So it's an M4, um, and we've just basically got to take... A few corners on the Nordschleife in 16 seconds. I definitely probably said that wrong, Nordschleife. I always, I've always said it like the Nurburgring or the Nordschleife. I'm sorry, Dad. Right, now the Nurburgring is one of those tracks that I think everyone kind of knows if you play games like a lot. But to get 16 seconds around here is going to take a few tries. I'm already a second off. Holy f Nell. If you're a car guy, if you like cars, if you like racing cars, the Nurburgring is just one of those tracks that you should know off by heart, to be honest. Right, here we go. We're going to break a bit later this time. Right, we've managed to get a well ahead of our ghost behind us, but I don't think that's going to be enough. We're still close! I'm doing it this time. I'm actually going to do it this time. I'm going to ruin you. Right, here we go. going to break a bit more late. We're going to carry on going. That is what we wanted. Look at how much space we've created. 
<laughs> oh my god, we're not even there. <coughs> I reckon we've got it on this try. I reckon after this one, we're going to be good. I know exactly where I need to break. Break to get the cake. Right, there we go. Just got enough. Surely that's enough at this point. I win! I actually got a sub 16 seconds then. I'm really happy with myself. Right, with that being said, that is Gran Turismo Sport. If you do want to see more of this game, let me know down in the comment section down below. I do want to do more of this. Again, this is kind of my big first kind of racing game, which I'm really excited for this year. And I'm glad it's finally here. I'm actually going to be playing a lot of this tonight because... Again, I've been waiting for it for a while. I think we, we've all been waiting for, it, waiting for it for quite a long time since it got delayed like a year ago. Anyway, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you go ahead and hit the like, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. You guys have an awesome. Stay safe and peace.